This is a demo of the padding attribute in the widget creator by Unlimited Elements. To add a padding attribute, we need to click Add Attribute. And in the Attribute type, we need to choose Padding. In the title, we can give that a title and a name. And on the right side, we can give default values. CSS selector is super important and this is what connects the attribute to the HTML. So over here I need to add a class name that I'm going to later on use inside of the HTML. For example I'm going to write a class name that's called example. It's important to put a dot in front of that because this is the CSS selector and that's the syntax of CSS. I'm going to add the attribute and jump into the HTML. Over here for demonstration purposes I'm going to add a empty div with the word test and I'm going to give that a background color and a color. Background color black and color white. I just add those two to emphasize the changes later on when we will edit this widget inside of Elementor. After adding the style I need to give it a class and in the class we're going to give the same class name that we added over here inside of the attribute itself in the CSS selector. So we've done example and in the HTML the class ne name needs to be example. Perfect we got everything set up now it's time to test going into pages, add a new page, edit with Elementor and on the left uh, side widget pane I'm gonna look for padding uh, demo which is the widget name I've added and here is our widget. Let's test that the attribute is working so with the up and down keys I'm playing with uh, the value everything seems to be working great we can unlock the top, right, bottom, and left. Perfect. So everything is working as we expected. Of course, if you will duplicate this, there won't be any conflicts uh, between the two widgets, and everything is working as expected.